What do you do in your free time? Hey, Anna. Watch up, too. Oh, hey, Ben. Just surfing my socials. Is that your usual free time drill? Pretty much. My phone's like a Swiss army knife. YouTube vids, awesome playlists, and loads of chat. Sweet. I do some web surfing, too. Other than that, how else do you spend your downtime? Most of it's devoured by reading. Really? I'm a bookworm, too. What genres do you dig? I'm all about fantasy and horror tales. Yikes. Horror is a no-go for me. I'm more into romance stories. I prefer romantic genres. From time to time. Hey, Amy, feel like playing some video games for fun? I'm up for it, but I have to hit the hay early tonight. Why is that? Got plans for tomorrow? Yeah, I got a crucial meetup with my partner. He's in another town, so I'll be subway bound. The subway? Last time I took it, I got all turned around. You know your way around here? Not really. Trains aren't my regular gig. Hence, I need to catch the earliest one tomorrow. Gotcha. Well, you better hit the sack early then. I'll wrap up this game. Never give up. Hey, Mom. Mike, how was your day at school? Did you get back your test scores? Yeah, and they're not so great. What do you mean? Well, I got a B in English, a C in Spanish, and another B in math. That's not the end of the world, dear. I'm really disappointed in myself. I should have done better. Listen, Mike. Our family doesn't define someone by grades alone. You're a wonderful student and a great son. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll put in more effort and not give up. I have a headache. May I come in, sir? Come on in. What's up, Jane? I'm feeling under the weather, sir. Can I take off early today? Did you bring your leave request? Yep, right here. All right, Jane, you're free to head out. Thanks a bunch, boss. I've already wrapped up the financial report for this month. Just need to give it one last check. I'll tackle it tomorrow when I'm on the mend, and I'll catch up with the crew at the company. You've been doing stellar work, Jane. Now, go home and take care of yourself. I appreciate it, sir. Take a chance. Dude, check this out. A dancing contest. Bet you dig it. Oh, where is it happening? They're holding auditions at the school hall this Saturday. <gasps> Seriously? I'm free that day, but not sure about my skills. Come on, man. Seize the moment. You've always had a thing for dancing, right? No doubt, but there are better dancers out there. I get jittery when I see their moves. Listen, if you don't try, you'll never know, John. Take the plunge and sign up. Wait. You believe in me? Heck, yeah! You got this. That's my man. That's too much. Hey, Jack. You're finally back. Where were you this morning? 
I just wrapped up my usual morning jog. Oh, getting ready for the big race next week? Need something to quench your thirst? Totally. Can you grab me a drink? Let me get you some orange juice. Thanks. Hold on a sec. That's way too much. Almost spilled it all over my shirt. Oop. Sorry about that. It's okay. Man, this orange juice hits the spot. Seriously revived me after my run. And it's packed with vitamin C. What's your favorite restaurant? Man, we've been walking forever, Lucy. Can we just sit down for a sec? Totally. I'm getting kind of hangry. How about we grab a bite to eat? Seriously, it's scorching out here. Where's your go-to spot for grub, Lucy? I'm all about hot pot, but not in this heat. Ice cream or shaved ice might be better, huh? Those are treats. We need real food. What about some cold noodles? Sound good? Cold noodles? Like an Asian thing? Sounds cool. Perfect. It's just the ticket for this weather. Let's go! That's not true. I heard from someone that you have a crush on, Jabez. <gasps> Wait, what? Who told you that? I mean, everyone seems to think so. How can you be so sure about that rumor? Well, you're always hanging out with him. We've been friends since childhood. But the way you guys talk to each other sounds like a couple. Oh, come on. We take care of each other as friends. So, you don't have any feelings for him at all? That's not completely true. Uh, okay, I do sort of like him, but I haven't told him. Yeah, I figured. Please don't tell anyone. I got you, girl. How's it going? David! Long time no see! Finally, we met again, Tracy. How's it going? I moved to New York because of my work. I try to get used to the hustling and bustling lifestyle here. I know, right? At first, I was amazed by the pace of life in this city. Everything makes me feel like I'm falling behind, but I believe you'll soon love it, just like the way I did. I hope so. By the way, how do you do? Well, I'm enjoying my married life. Balancing between career and family is quite tough, though. Please introduce me to your wife and your kids someday. Definitely. It could be better. James, congrats on your presentation. You aced it. I did mess up a couple of times during my speech, but thanks. Yeah, I think the solution you suggested could be improved if you include some visuals on your slide. I was also considering that, but because of the time crunch, I couldn't get it ready. No worries, James. You did fantastic. You're right. I should unwind now. Yeah, let's grab a meal after work. I know a Mexican restaurant you'll enjoy. You really know how to lift my spirits, Layla. I have no idea. What's going on? I'm stumped. Out of nowhere, my phone screen went dark. Something's definitely up. Have you tried rebooting it? Yeah, gave that a shot, but no luck. Screens still pitch black. Seems like there might be an internal issue. 
might want to consider taking it to a repair shop. Hoping for a quick fix. Sometimes, you need a pro to pinpoint and tackle the problem. They've got the know how to get it sorted. You've got a point there. Guess I'll hit up a repair shop and see if they can shed light on this darkness glitch. Sound plan. Fingers crossed, they'll have a solution. My pleasure. Big thanks for sorting out my computer, Lucy. You totally rescued the day. No problem at all. I'm always here to lend a hand with tech stuff. You are a real lifesaver. Computers aren't really my thing. Don't sweat it. I get a kick out of fixing issues and finding solutions. You know, I want to show my appreciation. How about we grab dinner as a thank you? Super thoughtful, but it's not a must. I'm just thrilled I could help. Really sure about that? I'm eager to treat you for your aid. Your computer humming again is thanks enough for me. All right, no problem. Cheers for your help once more. I value your support a lot. Delighted to have fixed your computer. Feel free to reach out if you need assistance down the line. I'm starving. I'm starving. I haven't had a bite all day. Oh man, that sounds really rough. Let's track down something for you to munch on. Seriously, I can't hold out any longer. I'm feeling drained and my stomach is rumbling now. Don't sweat it. We're gonna snag you some grub as soon as possible. What's on your menu? I'm seriously in the mood for a big, juicy burger with fries. Oh, that sounds absolutely tasty. We should hit up the closest burger spot. Thanks a bunch for being understanding. <laughs> Do you usually remember your dreams? Do you usually remember your dreams? Hmm. Every now and then, but not always. How about you? I seldom remember my dreams. They tend to slip away in a flash. I can relate to that. It's as if they vanish from our minds. I find it a bit annoying. I wish I could summon them more frequently. Agreed. Dreaming can be quite mysterious. On occasion, I remember vibrant ones, though. That sounds intriguing. I wonder why specific dreams stick in our minds. Not sure, but it's a captivating topic. Dreams are like a concealed realm we explore while we slumber. Absolutely. I'll keep striving to recollect mine. Who knows what I might uncover. I'm here for you. Have you ended things with your boyfriend yet? Yes, I did. I'm relieved you took my advice to break up with him. You should have done it earlier. He was such a lousy boyfriend. I didn't like how he treated you. I know it's tough, but sometimes it's necessary for your well-being. You're right. I've been feeling down for a while. Your support empowered me to make a change. I'm proud of you for putting your happiness first. You deserve much better. It's scary to contemplate starting anew, but it's the right call. You're strong, and you'll find someone who respects and loves you. Thanks for being here. I'm grateful for your guidance and friendship. I'm here for you, always. You deserve happiness in a healthy relationship.
Can you play a musical instrument? Can you play any musical instrument? Yup, I can strum the guitar. That's pretty cool. How long have you been at it? I've been plucking for around five years now. Impressive, man. Are you acquainted with other instruments too? Yeah, I can tinker a bit on the piano as well. Nicely done. I've always had a hankering to learn an instrument. Just never had the hours to dedicate to it. Time's what you make of it. It boils down to whether you truly desire it. Pick an instrument you're curious about and give it a whirl. You're spot on. I'll definitely give it a spin someday. Wait and see. I have no clue how my final exam went. Um, actually, pretty anxious. Feeling worried is completely normal. But sometimes we've just got to wait and watch. The waiting part is seriously tough. I want to uncover my score pronto. Totally get you, but stressing won't reshape the outcome. Let yourself chill for a bit. I'm just scared I bombed it. Remember, you've put in work and given your all. At this point, it's about waiting for the numbers. You're making sense. I'll attempt to keep a positive mindset and hang tight. That's the right attitude. Just stay cool and let things run their course. Best of luck. Thanks a bunch. Could you give me a minute? Hi, it's me. Hey there. What's going on? I'm totally stuck in traffic. That's super annoying. I left early, but never saw this coming. Take your sweet time. Seriously, this is beyond your control. Need a moment? I'm on my way as soon as I can. Of course, no sweat. Just deal with the traffic at your pace. Thanks for understanding. I'll roll up as fast as I can. No worries at all. We'll be here. No rush. Drive safe and take it easy. All right. Catch you soon. Would you take a message, please? Can you pass along a message for me? Absolutely. I'm here to help. What's the message you want to send? Could you let John know I can't make the meeting tomorrow? Got it. I'll make sure to inform John about that. Also, could you ask him if we could reschedule the meeting? No problem. I'll talk to him about rescheduling. Thank you so much for doing this. Your assistance means a lot. It's no big deal. I'm glad I can help out. Perfect. Thanks once again for delivering the message. You're welcome. If you need anything else, just let me know. You look amazing. You look stunning. Where are you off to? Thanks a bunch. I'm heading to a friend's birthday bash. That sounds fantastic. I hope you have a blast. Thanks a ton. I'm really excited to join the celebration. Your outfit is super stylish. It suits you perfectly. Oh, thanks so much. I wanted to dress up for the occasion. You totally rocked it. You look absolutely amazing. Your kind words mean a lot. You're welcome. Have a blast at the party? You got it. I'll make sure to have loads of fun. Catch you later. Absolutely. See you soon.
You got this. So, heard you got a job offer, huh? Are you excited about it? Totally, but kind of freaking out too. Like, can I even handle this? Hey, only you can answer that. Listen to that gut feeling, yeah, no. Think about where you want to be in five years. True that. Fears gotta take a back seat. You got this. Dive in. No regrets, right? No matter what, I've got your back. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. So, decision time. I'm going for it. That's my girl. I knew you'd crush it. It's not the end of the world. Man, you didn't pass the driving test. Yeah, I bombed it. No worries. There's always next time. You're right. Just keep hitting the road, practice more. It's not the end of the world. Thanks, man. I needed that. I'll get better, more practice, you know? That's what I like to hear. Keep at it. Don't quit now. You'll ace it next time. Trust me. I'm feeling it, definitely. I'm gonna nail it next time. Watch me. Got my pom-poms out for yay. Good vibes for the next round. Keep it in mind. Ever thought about starting your own business? No way, not for me. I'm not the business owner type. Why not? You've got some killer ideas and skills. Too much of a gamble. Don't have the cash or know how to pull it off. I get the worry. But big risks can mean big payoffs, you know? Thanks for the positive vibes, but I'm better off sticking to what I know. Fair enough. Just remember, stepping out of your comfort zone can lead to some pretty awesome stuff. I'll keep it in mind. But right now, I'm going to focus on other stuff. Who's your favorite movie star? Who's your favorite movie star? Tom Hanks, for sure. Oh, why? He's just a great actor, you know? Forrest Gump, cast away, the guy's a legend. Totally get it. I've caught a few of his flicks. He's got mad skills. So, who's your pick? Mine's also a Tom. Tom Cruise. Ah, gotcha! He's a big deal too, huh? Yeah, he's a movie legend. Agreed. Let's keep watching awesome movies like theirs. Take a break. Hey, what's up? You seem a bit off. Something on your mind? Yeah, been feeling kind of low lately. Oh, that sucks. Anything specific? Just a lot going on, you know? Overwhelming? I get it, but let's try to perk up. Remember, tough times don't last. I know, just hard to see the positives right now. Totally get that. But maybe focus on stuff that makes you smile. Take a break. Do something fun. You're right. Maybe a walk or some feel-good tunes? Great idea! And remember, you're not alone. I got your back. Thank you. Means a lot. Seriously. My flight was delayed.
Hey man, how was the trip? Everything go as planned? Nah, not really. My flight was a nightmare, got delayed. Uh, that sucks. How long were you stuck? Three long hours, man. Yikes, did they tell you why? Yeah, they blamed it on the weather. Uh, makes sense. Safety first, I guess. True, but still annoying. Just shake it off. Delays happen, man. At least you made it safe and sound, right? Yeah, you've got a point. How about the rest of the trip? Any more bumps? Nah, after that hiccup, it was all smooth sailing. Just a rough start, but it got better. Cool, that's what matters. Glad it turned out, okay? How many people in your family? Yo, how many people in your fam? Oh, it's a full house. Six of us. Six? Wow, that's like a mini soccer team. Who's on this team? Mom, Dad, two older sisters, and my little bro. Sounds like a party every day. You'll live together? Yeah, it's a bit of a circus, but we're all under one roof. Must be a riot with all those siblings. Everyone cool with each other? Mostly, yeah. But we do have our moments. So, it's not all rainbows and sunshine? Nah, but we got each other's backs, always. That's the dream. It's awesome to have a big, close family like that. No doubt. I'm pretty blessed. A piece of cake. Guess what? I baked a cake. Want a slice? Oh, you bet. I'm all about cake. Sweet, which flavor rocks your world? Chocolate's my jam. What's yours? Same here. Chocolate for the win. Yummy. Sweet or sour, I'm in. Here you go. Wow, this is delish. So rich and moist. Happy to hear you're loving it. It's a top tier recipe for me. Cakes like a happiness bomb, right? No kidding. It's instant joy. Thanks for sharing the yumminess. More cake? You got it. Second slice coming up. Yay, this is like cake heaven. What do you think about it? So spill the tea. Should I break up with him? Wow, heavy stuff. What's going on? Just some relationship hiccups that bug me. You talked to him about it? Tried, but it's like talking to a wall. Well, happiness is key, you know? You gotta be feeling the love and respect. You're totally right. I think it's time for the end credits. Not easy, but gotta put me first, you know? No rush. Follow your gut. And hey, I got your back. What's your food vibe like? So, what's your food vibe like? Oh, I mix it up. But I aim for that balanced life. Cool, cool. What's the meal lineup usually? Mornings. I go with cereal or toast and some fruit. Midday. I'm all about that sandwich or salad action. Dinner's usually a trio. Veggies, rice, and maybe some chicken or fish. 
Wow, you're like a health guru. Got any snack hacks? Totally. Yogurt, some nuts, or even veggie sticks with dip. Man, you're so on point with the health game. I can't even give up my fast food love affair. No biggie. Want to make a change? Start slow, like adding some fruits or veggies to your snack stash. Baby steps still move you forward, you know? That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.